Hello Capricorn, this is your X reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Let's see what your current situation is, Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Mm. A lot of you are feeling um, really hurt and scorned. I feel like you really want to let somebody have it that hurt you from the past. Um, I think right now you're really not trying to use a lot of, lot of emotion. I think you guys just want to know the truth. And, and there's something that you also want to say. Um, a lot of you are on guard. I feel like very defensive here. Okay, Could be um, a Libra Aquarius that you guys are dealing with. Gemini energy. Let's see what your ex's current situation is here. The Four of Wands. Hmm. Either your ex is trying to gain stability in their life. Um, may, they may have just moved to a different place. Maybe they have a roommate. Um, some of your, your people are in relationships. Um, maybe married even. But um, they're, they're trying to gain stability right now regardless of what the situation is with them currently but we'll see what's going on with that okay let's see what your perception of your ex is right now the king of cups maybe some of you do feel like they're in relationships and they are giving somebody the love affection um <clears throat> and the support that they did not give you okay I think a lot of you felt like this person was um, a lazy lover when you were with them. Okay. Like you did most of the work. You did most of like, you know, trying to make the relationship work here. Let's see what your ex's perception is of you. The Nine of Swords. Mm. They feel like you guys are worrying like crazy. Um, thinking about you know the worst things that could possibly happen the worst things that you feel like did happen um, they feel like you're doing a lot of overthinking and I feel like you know the, this kind of the sort of the way that it is right now a lot of you are focused on things that happened in the past um, they feel like they really hurt you and they feel like you you know you are left to deal with that hurt okay Let's see what their feelings are about getting back together here. What are their feelings about getting back together? Their feelings about getting back together. What are your feelings? I'm sorry. Your feelings about getting back together. Capricorn's feelings about getting back together. The Hierophant. I think a lot of you have turned your back on this person. Um, I think that... You know, they weren't offering you what it is that you felt like you deserve, which was like, you know, commitment, um, stability. I feel like you guys felt they weren't on the same page with you. And I think you're just trying to move on and, and just find somebody that will give you the commitment, the love, the respect, um, and, and everything else that you deserve in your life is what you're feeling right now. I think that you just really want to address certain issues, um, situations that happened before between you guys here. Okay? Let's see what your ex's feelings are about getting back together. Capricorn's ex. Capricorn's ex. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like right now this person would really love to be back with you guys here. They want to give you everything that that you probably told them that you wanted, that you needed. They want to devote more time to you. They want to devote the energy that it takes to rebuild this connection. This person wants to be with you, okay? Even if they haven't spoken it to you. Let's see what you can do to increase the chances of reconciliation here. What can you do to increase the chances of reconciliation? What can you do? Hmm. 
I think it's to let go of whatever it is, whatever it is that um, you feel like this person has done, the feelings of betrayal. Um, I think it's to really address those issues and kind of let it go um, to get over it. And I know that's easier said than done, but I think there's a lot that you're holding on to, okay? And I think it's a lot that you probably will never know with this person. Um, but I think whatever happened, whether it's been a year ago, two years ago, is still so very, like, present, like, at the forefront, um, that you guys just cannot get past that. And I think it's a need for you to see, you know, the good things, too, as well. Because right now, I think you guys see, like, the bad things. So I think it's a need for you to kind of address, like, um, the good, the bad, and also the good and bad within yourself here. And kind of put those two together, reconcile whatever hurt that, that you have felt within yourself. Because you really don't need any, anybody else to tell you the truth for you to be able to move on. It's easier if that happens, but don't let it keep you stuck. So it's like to kind of like move past, um, you know, all the hurt that you're holding on to here. Okay. So let's see how they can increase the chances of reconciliation. How can they increase the chances of reconciliation here? Hmm. Ten of Cups. Wow. I think this person really needs to come to you and I feel like they need to come to you. They need to come to you and tell you that you are the person that makes them happy. You are the person that they feel like they want to be with. Because this right here is a very, very, very strong, committed, loving relationship where there's nobody else that's interfering. So I feel like they need to come to you and tell you that they only want you. Maybe they did have you involved in a three-party relationship. I don't see that here. But I'm getting ready to pull some clarifiers for this Four of Wands to see why their current situation is the Four of Wands. Why is Capricorn's ex current situation the Four of Wands? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Please show me. Why is the Four of Wands here? Hmm. Six of Pentacles there. Okay. Then we have, I feel like this person, this person is probably currently with someone. Um, that I'm, I'm feeling like there was something going on possibly um, while you guys were together and there was somebody else in the picture and they are currently like working on something built trying to build something here with someone else a queen of cups i feel um like they're currently involved in another situation and i think what 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 they're going to have to do here is they may need to end that relationship in order for you guys to come together okay um that's not the kind of news that i like to deliver but i mean it's just what i see um maybe a taurus virgo uh maybe a cancer individual Aries is here, um, Gemini is here, Pisces, okay, but I feel like they're in something that, um, that they may be trying to get out of, 
is what I'm getting here. I think maybe when you guys separated or broke up that they were already like extending to someone else. Um, but I feel like either you guys were the third party outside of this relationship or this other person was. However it went, once you guys separated, they just continued to do what they were doing with this person. Because um, I feel like this is somebody that almost needs somebody to be with. Like they don't like to be by themselves. And so they just kind of picked up right there and, um, you know, just made something happen here. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. But let's see what the potential outcome is here. What is the potential outcome for Capricorn and their ex? The potential outcome here. The potential outcome. Hmm. This is death. Of course, this is an ending. There is something here that needed to end. Okay. But um, I think that, you know, major changes are going to come from this situation. This situation may even be transformed. Okay. Because I get the feeling that this person is really, um, is really trying to find a way out. Because I'm, I'm getting the sense that they bit off more than they could chew. Okay. And, um, yeah. So, that's Scorpio energy as well. But, I, um, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like messages like this. So, it really kind of makes me, you know, n not feel good. But, um, that's what I have for you guys. And, um, you guys take care. Um, I'm sorry to deliver a message like this, but it's just what I see, guys. And um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.